Hi everyone, thank you guys so much for tuning in, I really appreciate it. Look, I know you guys have been waiting for this video for almost more than a month right now. I really do apologize because you have no idea what I have been going through the past couple of months. So let's get that out of the way first, but today is here. We are about to talk about the farm updates. I've been looking forward to bringing this video to your screen, but due to my work schedule and among other things that has happened which i will probably discuss in a different video but today let's talk about the farm update first but before we do so if this is your first time make sure to hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification icon so when i drop a video like this you get notified so let me drive somewhere safe we'll sit down and talk about this in more details all right i appreciate you coming back to watch my video again so let's get rolling Alright, we're finally here. So let's hope that there is not many people in the park today because usually when there is a lot of people around, I can't really focus. I get distracted very easily. So fingers crossed, hopefully there is not many people out there today so we can talk about our stuff. And yes, so thank you guys so much for tuning in one more time again and I'll see you on the other side. Hi. Hello guys, thank you guys again for tuning in. I really appreciate you all. We are finally here to discuss the farm updates. All right, so I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a long time and please let me tell you this. I do apologize sincerely for those of you that have been waiting for this video and some of you even have reached out to me via emails asking me about the update. And you guys, there are so many things happening now and i have been going through a lot and let me tell you this we are finally here this is not the time to complain about my personal life because we all have things we all go through struggles but the good news is today we are here to discuss the farm updates and i am very glad to come back in front of the screen one more time to deliver to you guys and let you guys know what has been going on what has been going on on my channel and what has been going on on my farm lately so if you guys are interested stick around to the end of this video and we will discover what has been going on so most of you guys know that a couple of months ago i had launched the pig barn project on my farmland the whole intent was to build this as quickly as possible to move the pigs from my friend's place over to my farm so they can have a much better condition and everything like that in between things a lot of things has happened i got some good and bad news but before we get into the good and bad news let me tell you this guys so if you finding my channel for the first time make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so when i drop videos like this you guys get notified so at the same time i'm gonna leave links up here somewhere here above the screen so you guys can go ahead and check them out i'll make sure i put the playlist of, of all of my farm related content coming from the democratic republic of congo so if you guys are interested go ahead and check them out all right so without further ado let's dive right back into today's video okay let me tell you this guys so you guys know when the project started everything was going fantastic and as you guys can see through these clips everything is was going wonderfully and i was so blessed to have a wonderful team that accompanied me including my brother my other my friends and my my cameraman you know my little homie that's always around me filming and doing their things and that's one thing that i really appreciated about this team is if even if i am far in the states and they in the congo of course i still have to call them multiple times to remind them on things that i expect from them and what they're supposed to be doing 
and as long as I insist they do it exactly how I want it not always 100% but they do it enough would that satisfy me which is a good news all right so that is one thing that I am so grateful to have my team around so as you guys can see through these clips so these videos for some of you may remember some of these clips but I'm just playing these clips back so you guys can have an idea and refresh your memories how far we came from and how far we are on the project so the project is pretty much complete but not a hundred percent the only thing we have left they only have to put up the roof and everything is ready to go there might probably be a couple of things here and there they still have to work on but those are the main things that is very much needed in order for these projects to be complete and move the pigs onto a better place that is one thing that's really getting me so excited but first of all let me start with the good news the good news is the pig finally gave birth oh my god i was so happy when i heard the news she gave birth to seven piglets but unfortunately two of them didn't make it we were left with five so it was five piglets it was three females and one male so remember the first time the first round of piglets she had it was six of them luckily all six of them made it and they're still alive and healthy as you guys can see on these clips too but it was only one female and five males i was like oh man that is not fair but this time around it is more females than males so remind you when you are doing animal raising you want more females than male because you can only use a couple of males here and there to help breed them so they multiply at a much faster pace that is one thing that we are trying to do. As you guys remember, I only started with two pigs, two piglets. I only bought a male and a female because my intentions were, I want to see how quickly they can multiply within two, maybe three years span and see how many of them that I will end up with. Maybe eventually we will be purchasing from other farms and see what we do with them. But with, before we get there, I would like to actually increase the number within my own farmland and see you know how far this goes right that is one good news that i have you know for you guys but the bad news is if you guys remember right that the whole reason behind launching the pig barn project to build it as quickly as possible was to prevent the second round of piglets before the project is complete after the, the first six piglets that she had we almost had limited space because my friend space weren't all that much so i had to make sure i complete this before the second round so i can move all of them there but things didn't always go according to plan that is one thing that i was so concerned about when i heard the news I was very happy but at the same time I knew I was kind of screwed because I had to come up with a, a second plan actually we had to come up with a second plan because we always work together in things like this and the problem was I wasn't in a financial position to complete the projects when the pigs had given birth to all these piglets and I started thinking oh my god what am I gonna do with these piglets now that they're here so we had to, you know, make new accommodations to see how things work. But the accommodations didn't really work out all that well. Trust me, I was stressed out the past couple of months because I was receiving phone calls, videos, text messages almost every single day about the pigs because they outgrew the space some of them started to break out of the place because like I told you, the condition isn't all that well. Speaking of condition, this is probably one of the primary reasons why I have launched the pig barn construction project. Even though I failed to complete the project at a timely manner, but there is a saying that goes better late than ever. Now look at the condition under which the pigs are subjected to. Simple word unacceptable but i am thankful at least they have a place to stay and i thank the guy who have allowed me to use his place for my pigs while i'm building my barn i am relieved by the fact that the project resumes in a couple of days from now 
make sure to enable the bell alerts for that video when it drops. As we are speaking, as I'm talking to you right now, by September 30th, I am officially resuming the construction, which probably only going to take about a week if the workers are really doing a job, maybe less than a week. But that is our projects, that is our intentions as we speak right now. So after this, everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be fine. And this is another experience to actually warn some of you who are willing to get into farming. Remind you, you will go through struggles, you will go through hard time, stresses, anxieties, and so forth. You have to be the one able to handle this. And this is another example of having good collaborators, right? You don't always have to have people that share the same opinion as you because at that moment i am the owner i am stressed out i get to a point where i didn't really have much of a choice i didn't really have any other options i say listen i can't keep getting all this bad news while when i have all my own personal life here and i got things going on in my own personal life that's already stressing me out enough and i'm not gonna keep getting the bad news that's even going to stress me out more that's why i ended up actually coming up with an idea to sell all the piglets i mean to sell all the pigs right and then just hold on to the money complete the projects and start all over again so my man actually talked me out of it he told me dude you've come so far i'm not gonna let you do that sorry this is all yours but i'm down here and i promise you this you know farming or these animals of yours has a like have a bright future and i do not want you to just give up on something you have invested in more that actually motivated me again that actually let me know that other than myself there are other people who actually care about the projects they see the potentials of something that i'm doing sometimes it's not always about the money it's all sometimes it's about the people that you associate yourself with in this particular case, my guy actually had helped me out to get out of the idea of selling. He got me and convinced me to hold it together while he found a solution for me temporarily until I come up with the money to implement the plan and get it done as quickly as I possibly can. Which actually raises another point where remember in Congo, the government doesn't really care all that much about farming. I mean, they do not support small farmers, all right? Small farmers actually have to figure a lot of things on their own. You have to go through a lot of struggles. You have to go through, I mean, you have to finance everything on your own. Like in my own personal case, the only source of income is my employment. I mean, everything that you see happening on my farm is coming straight from my salary. I pay my bills, I make, sh I make sure I have a couple of thousand left and I'll send it back home. And that's how I've been operating. Sometimes I deprive myself of unnecessary things that I do not even need to make sure my farm is running smoothly. And I, I'm telling you this, right? Because we don't receive financial support from the government, right? and you are still keen and you really still want to do this and you are motivated and probably you watch my video maybe one of my videos have motivated you enough to start your farming get this you'll be challenged you will feel as though it's not worth anymore you will feel as though you are just wasting your money and you may probably think about giving up but let me tell you this giving up is not the option the only, the only option you have is to stay strong. That's the only option because you are single-handedly doing things without no financial support whatsoever. Trust me, if I tell you how much money I needed, actually I need now to complete the project, some of you may undermine it. You, you might be like, no man, come on. But 
a lot of money had already gone into this project so far and it's not the time to give up on it and i know i'm already there and i'm going to come up with the funds that i need to complete the project and this is about to happen very very soon by the end of the month so take the time to do things that's very going to benefit you and do not listen to what other people had to say because if you do that then you're going to lose big time and i don't want any of that happening to any of you out there just keep that in mind it is very crucial to understand this one thing uh, more important in doing business or starting a project than your own personal conviction and motivation but another thing remember surround yourself with people sharing the same ideology as you do surround yourself with people that have positive way of seeing things and that do believe in whatever you are trying to get yourself into whether it is farming it is anything out there just make sure to surround yourself with people who are sharing the same ideology as you who probably actually have put their heart into the things that you are doing and that's going to come a long way like in my case almost gave up but i had people that lift me back up I almost felt like what i was doing wasn't worthy they talked me out of it those are the things you need those are the people you want to surround yourself with and as much as i would like to share with you all these other uh, uh farming related challenges that sometimes i gotta go through like i said i'll leave the video in the description up here somewhere on the top of the screen so you guys can go ahead and watch my videos and get an idea of the things to expect and what you are walking yourself into because i'm not going to tell you that this is a hundred percent you know something that you get into no there's always stress that comes out of anything you do in life as long as you hold you hold it together and you put your mind into it and strategize what might work and might not work and actually learn from your own mistake this could be the very thing you ever need and it's very very important so guys giving up is not the option so i wanted to share this updates with you and this experience with you to encourage some of you who are still willing to get into farming or even after this video you still think that you can do it and it's just a little warning that don't give up you will be challenged you will and don't get me wrong this is probably not the only challenge so far i might i still have a hell of a lot more challenges right in front of me but as far as the pigs this has tested me enough right and i know i'm gonna get in the chicken very soon because by the end of the month we are resuming the projects which is our actually getting me excited already which the project shouldn't really take more than a week to complete if the workers really do what they're supposed to be doing and once that happened of course i got my team in place i got someone my cameraman who always working there whenever i need my footage is we will go down there film everything and i will share it with you guys as well so those are the only bad news but i already have a temporary solution in place while i complete this project and my guy is now you know is cognizant of that and he knows and we both agreed upon it and the good thing is i didn't even have to pay him a dime by knowing the destruction that my pig had caused onto his you know little place i didn't discuss this with him but in the event he watches this video maybe that's the only way he's going to find out but i am going to personally you know compensate him in a certain way you know help pay for it later on that is my own generosity that's one thing that i would do he did it for free i don't have to pay for this but i want to do it and i will all right so that is the updates man that i have for you so if you guys enjoy my video make sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel become a part of this family i got a lot more videos like this for you guys until the next video i'll see you guys later peace